Hello everybody, we're here for our science class today. We're very excited to get to do a science experiment with you. I'm Mrs. Sheridan and with me today I have my assistants Josiah, Nate, and Jeremy. They're going to be helping us do our experiment and we are going to be making bubble towers. So, if you look in front of them, each of them have picked out a couple different containers. Different sizes. Nate, you want to hold yours up so everyone can see your containers? They have different sizes. They each I got, got to pick two. And to start with, I thought the meat mom meat or dad, meat adult, we're going to have an adult take your straw. So you have your containers. You're going to need a straw. I have plastic straws. And an adult is going to cut a triangle or a diamond in the middle. I'm going to come close to the camera so you can see what we're doing. So just about two inches down from the edge of the straw, we're going to make a little snip. We're going to turn it over. We're going to do another snip so that we end up with a little diamond in there. I, I don't know if you can see that. But there's a little diamond. This little diamond keeps it so that we can blow our bubbles, but we can't actually suck up any of the bubble solution. So I've already done all of the straws that way. So if you need to pause it so that you can cut your diamond in, so the adult can cut the diamond in. If it is a flexi straw, you're going to want to leave it just not bendy. Oh, if it's I a see bendy straw, diamonds. don't stretch it out. Leave it straight. You want it straight so that you can blow Mom, your bubbles. I see the diamond. Yep, there's a diamond right there. Okay, and you also don't need to practice. You're going to be blowing on the end that has the diamond. That's the end that's going to go Listen, in your mouth. Yeah. I have a But hole. right now we're going to set our supplies down and we're not touching our supplies. Ah. Now, you can see that my assistants have a couple safety things. We all have aprons on. That's just to protect our clothes. That's optional. You don't really need them. And we also have safety goggles. Now, the safety goggles are to keep things from splashing in our eyes because we are going to be using bubbles. We don't want the bubbles in our eyes. If you wear glasses, those count as your safety gear. If you don't have specific safety goggles for science experiments, but you have maybe some for tools, you could use your tool goggles, or you could use swim goggles, or you could even use sunglasses. So if you have something just to keep things from splashing in your eyes, um, we don't want it to hurt in your eyes. That would be very tricky. If it happens like that, then we'll have to just go rinse out our eyes. I'm going to be moving around a lot because you're mostly watching these guys. And we're just going to show you what to do. Um, adults that are supervising, what you can't see off camera is I have a big stack of old towels ready to go just in case we need them. That's going to make it a little bit easier for our experiment. Um, just from past experience, you're going to want cleaning supplies nearby. No, I'm not. Okay, you guys, listening. Now, the first thing that we're going to do, I have my liquid measuring cup, and I have some water. We are going to pour in one cup of water. So I'm going to let Josiah start. Mommy, it's kind of heavy. I might have to help I, with the pouring. Why are you talking? I'll just hold it. We're talking to our friends on the video. I'll just hold it. You pour it. Oh. So we're going to pour in one cup. One cup of water. Okay, that's all. And then we are going to put in, you don't need to do anything yet, you haven't done anything. He's going to wait for instructions because you have to follow instructions. Another thing is we are not tasting or touching without permission are things that we're you doing today. You may smell, you may smell. Only but, with permission. But bubble solution tastes you know what? super bad. Right now I'm the teacher. Okay, so you're not tasting. Today it is safe for smelling. Today it is safe for touching, but only after we've made our solution. So we are going to add, I just have dish soap. We're going to add two teaspoons of dish soap to our one cup of water. That's the bath one cup of water. So there's one, two. And I have a spoon. He's going to stir it up. While he's stirring, like I said, you'll see and, him moving around a lot. And it will get all bubbly in a bit. Don't stir roughly. And it will turn like super gooey. Looking gooey. So we've decided which containers we're going to use. 
All that we're changing is the shape of our container. So we're going to put the same amount in. So we're going to add half a cup of our bubble solution to each of our containers. Okay, that's stirred. Now add half a cup to each container. Um, you're going to pour until it says half, keep going, there you go, okay, now we're going to do the same thing for Nate, I'm going to pour in, since I put so much water in here, I'm going to pour it in, because it's very heavy, one cup, please put your straw down, he's going to measure in two teaspoons, Go ahead and hold it over here. One, two. If it's just you doing it, you might want to use less than half a cup. Maybe you want to use a whole bunch of different containers. You might try three or four or five different containers yourself. We just figured since we have um, <coughs> brothers that are doing the experiment that they would each do two so that they could measure their data. So they are each using two different containers. They are putting half a cup of bubble solution in each container so that we can see what's going to happen. We're making bubble towers. And then <coughs> we're going to think, what is happening? How are we going to decide which tower is the tallest when we make it? Okay, go ahead and pour half a cup into each of yours, Nate. Mommy, may I? Have to and are we going to measure with the? And what's the smallest? The doors and what's is the medium? Are you going to start with the smallest and then go to the biggest? That sounds like a good idea. That's a good plan. Let's see. Did we already do half a cup? Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Okay, go ahead and pour that into the other one. Yeah. And now Jeremy's going to make his bubble solution. We're going to do one cup of water. Can I smell water? Is yes, you may solution. smell. We're going to do two teaspoons of soap. <laughs> Did you smell it? Ugh. Okay, we're just using our regular dish soap. It smells really yummy. We do not taste. You may smell. Here, go ahead and stir it all around. Ah, that smells so good. Can, can I, I smell? I see the blue stuff. Mom, can uh, I smell? You may smell it, yes. Ew. This also, just to give you an idea, parents, of what it looks like to do this with multiple ages. Josiah is seven. Can Nate I is almost six. Bubbles? Jeremy is just turned four. Okay. So that we're mommy, seeing mommy, how to do it with different out. ages. Jeremy might have to only do a quarter cup in each one because he has smaller containers. So he is going to use just a quarter cup in each of his and we'll have a little bit of bubble solution left over. Now remember, what? May we blow now? Not yet, in just a second. Remember that you are going to be putting the straw that has the diamond, the diamond is the part that goes closest to your mouth. Okay, now pick one container and we, we have to decide how are we going to measure how tall the bubbles get. Whoa, that's huge! Okay, so you may pick one container and you guys may start blowing. You're going to blow your whole, you want a huge tower. It should be coming out over the top. It'll probably end up coming out over the top. So you're blowing and blowing. And look. Nate's is getting huge. Did you get some in your mouth? Oh, are you blowing on the right side? I tried it before we started. <laughs> it didn't work to suck up anything. Okay, don't cover that triangle or the diamond with your um, fingers either or it won't work. And remember, just blowing. Just blowing. Mommy, where did, the, where did the rest of your bubbles go? Where did all your bubble solution go? In here. The rest goes in here. Oh, you poured it all into there? Okay. Let's pour a little bit more in here. And then you can blow bubbles in both of them. Hold on. Let me wipe this off because you stuck the wrong end in the bubble solution. Okay. Blowing big, big, big. Wow. That's getting pretty big. You want to oh, dump? Man. Wow. 
Why are you popping the bubbles? What are you doing? Because you're no good. You just pop. You don't do anything else. That's what it's supposed to do. Blow the bubbles. You want to blow so that there's no more bubble solution. And we're going to see how tall it goes. Well, blow, 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 blow. Whoa, Jeremy's is getting huge. I'm going to come over here and see if it's you my big, I'm gonna can see bubble. this. Can you see how big that is? Wow, look at mine. Those are getting huge. Hey, Mommy Nick popped it. Those are getting to be very big bubble towers. I think so far, oh, look at Josiah's. The one in the big, I'm going to move this one so you guys can see. The one in the big bread pan, he's using a glass bread pan. Mommy, look. So far, like I think that it might be the tallest bubble tower. If you look at how much is over. No, look how big mine is. That is pretty tall, too. They're pretty close, and Josiah looks like he's almost out of bubble solution in his pan, but Nate still has a lot, so there's a possibility Nate's could get even taller. So we're just going to keep going and keep blowing our bubbles. You guys can switch to your other tower if you'd like. Boys and girls at home. I think you're just taller than you can't see me. Boys and girls at home, what you're going to do is you're going to decide which of your towers is the tallest. How will you decide that? Will you measure it somehow? How could you measure to see? Which container makes the tallest bubble tower? <clears throat> and then I want you to think when you're all done, what happened? Why do you think it happened? Was there anything surprising <laughs> about what you did? Did one of the containers surprise you more than the others? So I'm going to let them keep experimenting and keep blowing bubbles. And thank you so much for joining us. We will see you next week for another fun science experiment. Do you guys want to say bye? Bye!